Welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the G-Skill Phoenix Pro 40GB solid state drive. What's included is the user's guide, 2.5 inch to 3.5 inch drive bay adapter, 8 screws, and the solid state drive. The G-Skill Phoenix Pro line of serial ATA2 solid state drives are currently available in capacities ranging from 40 gigabytes all the way up to 240 gigabytes. I'm reviewing the 40 gigabyte model. Solid state drives have been around since 1978, developed by a company called Storage Tech. Solid state drives are very similar to USB drives or any type of flash or compact memory, like for example the memory that goes into your camera. Solid state drives have several advantages over standard hard drives because they have faster access times, lower temperature, are much more reliable because they have no moving parts, are tougher, and are silent. They are also lightweight have a much smaller footprint and consume less power than standard hard drives. Solid state drives have their disadvantages though. They are still very expensive. Capacities are low, currently between 16 gigabytes and 256 gigabytes, but of course higher capacity solid state drives are on the way. Also some older solid state drives can have slower write times and more CPU usage than standard hard drives. This will give you a better idea how small the 2.5 inch solid state drive is in comparison to a regular 3.5 inch hard drive. Here's the serial ATA power connection and the serial ATA data connection. There are two screw holes on each side of the drive and four at the bottom. Also at the bottom is the model number, serial number, capacity of the drive, and more information. Also note that the casing on this solid state drive is black and it's brushed aluminum, so it looks very nice. Now why would you buy a Serial ATA 2 solid state drive instead of a Serial ATA 3 solid state drive? Well, one big factor is cost. And there's not a lot of Serial ATA 3 motherboards on the market, nor are there many Serial ATA 3 controller cards on the market as well. So, if you really want to really get the best bang for the buck, then you go with a Serial ATA 2 drive, no matter if it's a regular hard drive or if it's a solid state drive. The big thing is just cost, really. And this particular model, the 40 gigabyte model, is a perfect option if you're going with a single drive and certainly a phenomenal option if you want to do a couple of these in a grade zero setup. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.